Yeah. And mm. we have some news for you. We have found your father, and he's alive. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Rosie, Great we're God. coming into the airport. How are you feeling? Can I be like nervous? <laughs> <laughs> Michael Emmanuel Robinson, you turn my life upside down. Where's your mum? Yeah, my mum is like in the back. Ma, can you hold it, Ma? Ma, quick. You're going to miss your father. For 55 years, Michelle had kept all of the love letters that her father wrote to her mother. And with kind permission from Michelle, you may like to read one of Mike's love letters addressed to his wife, Teresita, written in 1968. Except it's a little bit too hot for me to narrate here. If you're watching this, get ready for a very emotional reunion. You're going to miss your dad. Yeah, they're running. Filipinos die in Typhoon Viola, Luzon, where many towns were isolated by swollen rivers. Because he was told by the International Red Cross that you had perished. Come on, girls, you can't miss this flight. Quick, 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 quick. Sir, your daughter's alive and she's been looking for you. Yeah, yeah, 19... I know, 50 years ago, you left the Philippines in 1968, sir. 1969. So, sir, Michelle has been looking for you. Your daughter, she's alive. Ever since she was a young girl, Michelle had always prayed that one day she would see her father. What's your feeling right now? I don't know. Are you excited? Are you yeah. nervous? I'm so nervous. I'm so excited. How long have you been waiting? 50 years. I'm traveling, so it's very hard to hear you properly. I spent days and weeks searching through thousands of Michael Robinsons. When did your father leave the Philippines? 1968. Uh, her mother has passed away, sir. Yeah, I'm sorry to give you this information, but her mother passed away. And Michelle's mother never remarried again. Nice to meet you. She loves you. She's kept your pictures for all of this time, sir. 55 years. I was not going to give up in trying to find Michael E. Robinson. I will send you the information for the YouTube video, and then I will call you back tomorrow morning, your morning. Michelle was going to be seeing her father, Michael Robinson, all the way from the States. 21 hour flight. And we've only got moments until he comes out. I'll call you tomorrow morning, Mike. Okay. I had just found Michael E. Robinson. And now he was coming to the Philippines. She was only nine months old when she last saw him. Excited? Yes, very excited. And including Rosie, Michelle's other two grandsons had come to see Mike for their first time. He was coming home to them after spending 21 hours on a flight from America. <laughs> What's this one? What's this? A welcome. A welcome drinks for Mike. <laughs> wow, his favorite. <laughs> yeah. San Miguel. Yeah. Rosie, yes. how are you feeling right now? Gonna be like You're pacing up and down? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am. I don't know. I mean, I'm just... Oh my God. I was like joking about that. Like, I won't cry, but I'm starting to feel those chills. <laughs> uh, she said, guys, that she's not going to cry. Yeah. Let's find out in the next five to ten minutes. Mm -hmm. You're staring intently right now, Michelle. All yeah. the people coming out. Yeah. Looking for your father. Yeah. And you've had a, a text message that he's claiming the baggage, mm. the luggage. So yeah. it's going to be another maybe 10, 15 minutes and he's going to be coming out. How are you feeling? I don't know. Just in, I want to cry. You want to cry. Okay. Stay strong. Mm. That 55 year wait is going to be over mm. in the next couple of minutes. Yeah. And we're going to capture it all here on the Lear and Blair slug, guys. So stay tuned. Mm. Michelle was pacing up and down. She kept looking at the screen and she kept looking at the door to see if he was coming out. She never could have believed that this day would come. Reunited with her father. Can you see him? Yeah. Ricky, Ricky. Yeah. Ricky. They ran to 
to the end of the exit, tears starting to come down their cheeks. I made it! Unbelievable! An embrace from her father she always prayed would come. Come on, let's go. Get out of here. And another. And my chickens. Here they go. Bye. 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 And his grandchildren showed him the mark of the Filipino respect. There. Now. Uh -huh. <laughs> How you doing? And now it was my turn to greet Mike. Mike. How you doing, Blair? Glad you made it. <laughs> You're very, glad very glad you made it. I'm glad I <laughs> found it. <laughs> I salute this former Vietnam veteran, injured badly and not knowing his family were in fact still alive. And when I found him, a lot of fathers would have said, just let the past be the past, but not this soldier. No. Your favorite. <laughs> I open it. I open Hello? Yeah. I open it. Yeah. Now. This is the story of a proud military man answering his call of duty. No matter how difficult the journey was for him, he was here now. And when I found him, his first words were, I'm on my way back to the Philippines. And if you keep watching this video, you'll see that there was more to come in this story. Hooray! I made it. All in one piece. The Robinsons had finally been reunited, but there was one person missing in this group. He needed to be with his long-lost loved one. You're broken down and tired of living life on the merry-go-round. You can't find a fighter, but I see it in you, so we gon' walk it out. Move mountains, we gon' walk it out and move. And I rise up, I rise like the day I rise up, I rise unafraid I rise up, and I do it a thousand eight times again And I rise up, I like the waves I rise up, in spite of the ache I rise up, and I determined and he had made it again the silence is in quiet and it feels like it's getting hard to breathe and i know you feel like dying but i promise we would take the world to its feet move i won't dance bring it to its feet
love that we have each other. 